Sexton Blake here. Now, defend yourself, Mr. Blake. Sexton Blake is all about uh, action. That's no hinge. Look out! All aboard for peril. I'm for it. <laughs> I'm sawing you in half. The ceiling, Blake. It's coming down. <laughs> Kiss you, Miss Terry. <laughs> I think we did we did uh, write as a kind of script note that whenever Blake and Tinker re leave the room they have to leave it at a run they never leave a room it's always to the Grey Panther to the Grey Panther right I've got to the Grey Panther and meet by the Grey Panther the Panther it is if they had the word proactive in 1893 that would have been on his his character profile. Sorry, belay that tuck and snatch your galoshes. We're off to Scotland, if it's still there. Not even act first and think later. It's kind of act, 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 act. And maybe retrospectively think, well, perhaps that wasn't the best idea in the world. Wait a moment. It seems you're happy for us to succumb to madness in the dark, or poisonous gas, or snakes then bees. Why cavil at a flattening? Hmm. Ha! Of course. You don't want to see us killed in a fashion that will damage Mr. Valentine's pocket watch. He's not stupid, but um, he prefers, I think, as he said at some point, fisty justice. Too late, Mr. Blake. My experiment succeeded. I am now invisible. <laughs> Crikey. How will we find him, Gov? <laughs> you forget he's a loony. That's fantastic. Mr. Millington and Mr. Nash, the writers, are very interesting guys because they absolutely know Blake uh, and his history. When Mr. Nash and I were looking into the history of the canon, it's quite difficult because everybody <laughs> has their own take on it, completely, utterly ignoring what's gone before and, and creating their own characters and, and reinventing it. Um, and I think we very much follow in, in that pattern that the writer will come on board and it reinvents Sexton Blake for that time, for that era and, and for that writer. As it happens, uh, Mr. Nash and I are comedy writers and uh, Dirk is a comedy producer director so we're doing Sexton Blake as comedy but it was always very important to us that we're, we're never mocking Sexton Blake. What puzzles me is how your entire scheme hinges on the sun being out. This is Britain. You couldn't invite disaster more openly. The idea with this is to do that old time radio thing, not specifically Sexton Blake old time radio, but the old time radio of the, the 20s, 30s and 40s. That's the feel we wanted to, big uh, thrills and excitement and, and chases. No time to explain. Terrible danger, dreadful plot, frightful implications. Assassins on way, police turned against us, grab the Valentine watch and follow me. So we're really excited that um, uh, of all the things you can do on radio that you can't do in any other medium and, and to use that to its, its, its fullest really. Three! <laughs> you should have invested in a sturdier door count if you intended to keep us in your ferocious corridor. My corridor of darkness and light wounding. Simply a warning passageway to deter the casual intruder with scratches, minor crossbow injury and trifling darkness induced madness. Nothing more. One of the other things we wanted to do was uh, not talk down to the listener. Uh, we wanted to assume that they were uh, as erudite as X and Blake, for example. Ha! Ah, so a simple illusion outwits the conjurer of crime. <gasps> You thought my card was the Ace of Doom, but in fact, it's the Five of Justice! Oh! We're going for, for um, a higher class of listener, I think. But Millington and Nash do have a unique working relationship. They don't actually ever meet up. Blimey! I know. They do everything over the internet. It's incredible! I know. I'm Mr Millington, um, and Mr Nash is somewhere in Britain. Uh, he, he does he does exist, there are people who know him, but I've never met him myself. We've been writing together in, in one way or another, doing websites and, and, and things for over ten, well, well over 10 years. He, he is the, the funniest living Britain. He's just incredibly funny. That's one of the uh, great things about uh, writing this script. Operator, 
Operator! I'm sorry, your party has been murdered. <laughs> <laughs> this, this has to be said that um, he was absolutely um, instrumental in this. So much of Sexton Blake in, in this incarnation um, uh, is comes from, from Mr. Nash, from his um, his kind of style, if you like. We've seen more than our share of mistaken identities and unlikely doppelgangers over the years. Just to know for sure before our springy trap is sprung. <laughs> he definitely does exist. He definitely does exist. There are, you know, there are generally lots and lots of people who, who know him. I'm just not one of them. And it would be terrifying uh, to meet him. That would be... Ooh, no, that can't happen.